Here are you welcome to the program, Your Opinion, and this is Radio Global. You know what we do it on this segment. Today we'll be talking about something very interesting and important. But before I go into details, I have a lot of guests in the studio with me, and I also have a special guest in our midst today. When I come back, I'll be introducing a special guest to you, and I'll be telling you about what this topic is going to be. But before I do that, we'll go on a short break, and when we come back, I'll be telling you what our guest today is going to be, and what today's topic is going to be. Don't forget the program is to Your Opinion, and this is Radio Global. I still remember my name, Bamidi Olaiwaji. Stay tuned, because I'll be back right now. Yo, you're welcome back. The program is still your opinion, and this is Radio Global. Like I said, in before we're in a break, I told you we have a get- lot of guests in the studio, and we also have a special guest in our midst today. The special guest is no one but Mrs. Aki Yemi. Sorry, Mrs. Aki. Sorry, I, I got that wrong. Sorry, it's Mrs. Adi Yemi. Sorry. Mommy, welcome to the studio. Yeah, I'm also have Jeremiah in the studio with me here. Yeah? Hello, Jeremiah. How are you doing today? Okay, I have told you in the studio with me with the wonderful you. Yeah, hello. All uh, right, I have kids in the building too in the studio with me. Yeah. Hello, how are you guys doing? I'm sure they're doing fine. Yes. Okay, today on your opinion, we'll be talking about something very interesting. And to this topic, to this topic, to this topic, I know you are want to know what today's topic is going to be. It's going to be something very interested in something that you all would want to talk about and you all would want to share your opinion on this today we'll be talking about is it good for your spouse to stay in a different room in the same house with you how do you see that can you cope with that can you live with that your spouse in your room stay in a different room in the same house with you how are you going to undo that let's know what your opinion is on that and you know how we could do that you can call in the number to call is zero one two nine five one eight four three you can also do by commenting on our social media you can go to twitter just twitter really global ng and don't forget to use the hashtag your opinion before you put your comment use the word hashtag your opinion then let's know what your opinion is in your comment and you can also like our facebook page just go to www.facebook.com forward slash video global ng let's know what your opinion is on this program and on this topic we're talking about today now let me start the question with mommy and mommy want to tell us and want to share her opinion and what she feel about this topic mommy let's hear it out hi everybody this is a very interesting topic uh, my opinion in my own opinion i don't believe the husband and the wife should separate you oh, okay why in the first instance, when a husband separates room from the wife, uh, there tends to be mm, so many things coming. When they have misunderstanding, it's not going to be resolved easily because when the husband goes in the morning with a uh, something he should have discussed with the wife and they would have gone over it he comes back in the evening in the evening when they are meant to talk again the wife takes a nightie and goes to the other room I think that problem will never get solved mm-hmm. okay Uh, there are so many things that may 
cause a husband uh, separating the room from the wife. One thing I believe is that we have some some men that are obsessively neat and uh, they don't want wherever they put their things they don't want anybody to remove it so when they put their shoes on the table on the shoe rack and the wife comes there and picks up the the, the duster when the husband comes he doesn't like it when he complains the first time second time third time they will quarrel when the wife puts a powder on the dressing mirror where the husband will put his phone and he mistakenly, you know, <laughs> falls on the phone. <laughs> There's going to be a problem if the husband is not that tolerating type. Okay, okay. Thank you so much, mommy. Thank you for that. Uh, Mr. Kerr, thank you for being here. Mommy speaking from the angle of a man that actually doesn't tolerate a lot of things, you know, from his wife. On, on, on your own opinion, what, what, do you, what do you say to this? Uh, basically, for me, I would say uh, it's a culture here. Like when a man gets married and you have a wife and you move into maybe like a two or a three bedroom flat. At times, I don't know, maybe it's it's reflex. They always say this is the man's room, this is the wife's room. It's always like that. This is mommy's room, this is daddy's room. Then these are for the kids. Okay. You get me? Yeah. It has always been like that. Even though the wife doesn't sleep in that mommy's room. Okay. Mommy's room is always mommy's room. It, it's constant there. Now, on the aspect of sleeping in different room, it's not good in a marriage. It's not good. Um, I've been married for three years. Uh, I started small. I started from one room. So even right now, my wife can't even say she wants to go to another room. <laughs> so, when you are angry, where do you want to go to? To, a, to a outside. You need to the man also. <laughs> to the man also. You get me? Yeah. Then when you get angry, that's why at times, I know not everybody, you know, because of privilege and all that, not everybody starts from you know, a noble beginning, you know, when you have the quarrel, you can, you have to set to it in the same house, you have one bed, if you don't want to sleep on the bed, you sleep on the floor, <laughs> and nobody, same, 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 same room, yeah. and nobody wants to sleep on the floor, <laughs> so you still have to come to the bed, so that's the aspect where it's not good because one, it drives, it, let's take quarrel out of it, the connection, the connection between the husband and wife will be there, Okay. It will be like the the conversation the two of you get to have. You get me? The the want between the two of you will be there. even though you guys have conversation every day, being in two separate rooms. Two separate rooms is like being in, on a distance relationship. Okay. That's how it is. Okay. You're married. You're married. You're meant to be in the same room. You're meant to sleep in the same room. You're meant to see each other naked every day. You get me. Okay. It's the moment, that's the connection. You get me. Those okay. are the things that brings you together. The moment you are apart, you are apart. That's just how it is. Okay. Thank you, Mr. K. Thank you for that. Thank you. Okay. Tell you we want to hear your part. Uh, my opinion is this. Uh, I'm not married yet, but I'm of the belief and the opinion that um, people who are married should sleep in the same room. I don't see any reason why. A woman should uh, uh, leave or put her things maybe in her children's room and say, okay, that's where I want to sleep because I'm angry with this man. Well, I know that it gets to a point whereby uh, for women or even for men, they might get to a point whereby it just reaches the neck and they're like, oh, what this woman is doing to me, what this man is doing to me. I'm very tired, I'm fed up and things like that. But really, as, as a married uh, couple, you've not gotten to that stage whereby you need to chop off your head off. Uh, so seriously, you not being in the same room uh, will not help the marriage at all. Instead of it, using it as a relief for you when uh, you are not uh, um, happy with the man, you might tell yourself that, okay, I want to use it as a relief for me, for myself, but it is endangering your marriage without you knowing. So. 
Okay, okay. Hey, thank you, thank you for that, Tojo. Thank you for that. In case you're joining in, the program is still your opinion, and this is Radio Global. You know how it is. You know how we do in this program. You have, everybody has the right, and you have a different opinion, which counts on the program. Let's know what your opinion is on what we're talking about on today's topic. You can call in the number to call us: zero one two nine five one eight four three. I'll take that again: zero one two nine five one eight four three. And you can also make a comment on our social media. You can go to Twitter. Twitter does a Radio Global. NG and don't forget to use the hashtag your opinion for putting your comment and you can also like our Facebook page go to www.facebook.com forward slash radio global NG what we're going on a short break we're going on a quick musical break and when we come back we'll be talking more about this topic and you want to listen more from my mommy and the cares and the beauty and the wonderful told you have the reminder to hear the one to give us more light and more opinion on the topic we're talking about today I'll be talking more when we're back from this break don't go nowhere it's your opinion and this is Radio Global I'll sail the world to find you If you ever find yourself lost in the dark and you can't see I'll be the light to guide you Find out what we're made of When we are called to help our friends in need You can count on me like one, two, three, I'll be there And I know when I need it I can count on you Like four, three, two, and you'll be there Cause that's what friends are supposed to do, oh yeah Ooh. And then you're turning and you just can't fall asleep I'll sing a song beside you And if you ever forget how much you really mean to me Every day I will remind you Oh, Find out what we're made of we are called to help our friends in need You can count on me Like one, two, three, I'll be there And I know when I need it I can count on you Like four, three, two, and you'll be there Cause that's what friends are supposed to do Oh yeah, Ooh. Yeah, you're welcome back. You're welcome back from the musical break. The program is to your opinion, and this is Radio Global. We'll be talking about a particular pro topic that's actually very interesting, and people in the house have actually been making a lot of contributions and giving us different opinion on what to think it should be and what it shouldn't be. Today's topic we're talking about is it advisable, is it cool for your spouse to be staying in a room in the same house, staying in a different room from where you're staying? 
is it right do you think it's right do you think it's ideal let's know what your opinion is you can call in and let's know what your opinion is on this topic the number to call in is 0129518438 let's know what your opinion is i'll take that again is 01 Two nine five one eight four three. You can also do that on our social media. You can go to Twitter. You can tweet at us at Radio Global NG. And don't forget to use the hashtag your opinion and drop your comment. Let's know what your opinion is on what we're talking. And you can also like our Facebook page www.facebook.com forward slash radio global ng let's know what your opinion is on this topic now we'll be hearing again from Jeremiah. he wants to give us what his own opinion is one one break he was telling me something and that you actually have a lot say on this so Jeremiah, what's your opinion to this you're saying would you allow that no, 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 no. i wouldn't allow that because um i believe that there's a moment you you stood in your altar and said for better for worse then I don't think after that you people should the, the the couple should stay apart. Okay. Because because the moment you like according to what Kier said, the moment you people start sleeping in different rooms, the moment you start allowing problems to enter. And when problems are, are, are enters, it means there's no connection. There's no longer connection, there's no longer understanding, and there's there's no longer connectivity. That yeah. connectivity is not there. Oh, okay. Anymore. Yeah. So I believe I believe they should stay in one room. Because that's actually one of the beauty of getting married. Okay. Being in one room with the person you've taken vows with. Okay. Because imagine and it even gives lessons to the kids, to the children. Like when they see their parents living in different, like sleeping in different rooms, they'll be like, "Oh, what's like maybe they've grown of age. They now see things. They'll be like, okay, I see these things in movies. Uh, parents live in the same room. They sleep in the same room. Why are my own parents sleeping in different rooms? Okay. Then." They, 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 they now find it hard to like open up to them like if my parents can be living in different rooms how can I who do I want to connect with so in a way that also like it's it's it destroys not only the marriage it also destroys the family as a whole too okay so I and another example is imagine a husband traveling out maybe on this bit on a business trip maybe like a week or two and he comes back home to sleep in a different room i mean it's it actually doesn't speak well like okay this is actually a family this is i'm actually coming back home to meet a wife i'm actually coming back home to meet a family it's there i don't think there's no difference between that and and being a bachelor <laughs> okay okay honestly because if you can stay in in, in a different room with your wife that it's, it's just insane. I mean, it doesn't make sense. It just doesn't make sense at all. Okay, thank you. So, to your opinion, you think it's not a good idea it's to actually do that? Okay. Um, Mommy, before we round up the program, what's your final ad- advice on the, this topic uh, to the listener? What, what, what would you want to give them as an advice on this topic? Uh, the advice I have for the youth nowadays is that they should endeavor to live in the same room their husbands because if the wall does not crack a lizard will not enter okay so when you sleep in a different room from that of your your husband any visitor, visitor that comes in does not need to be told that there's a problem when your in-laws come around they don't have to they don't need to be told that there's a problem it's just natural that they will feel there's a problem. Okay. So when you actually have problems and you want to get it solved, stay in the same room with your partner. Okay. Any any problem that comes up in that manner it will not get solved. It won't get solved. Okay. 
Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mommy, for the advice. Um, let me go to Mr. Kyle now. Um, what's your advice on this? What's your advice to the couples and the non couples? Yeah, they're probably planning to get married. What's the advice for them and people that are even in marriage where they like they, they, they practice this separate room thing? What, what, do you, what would you want to say to them? The thing is, disconnection, disconnection comes with a lot because basically, I would say trust first, followed by a fact that know that there's no divorce. You should you should have that at the back of your mind. Okay. When you're getting married, there's no divorce. It's for better, for worse. The worst can be from the man. The worst can be from the woman. So you should not think that uh, because you have the opportunity to have your room very soon, you'll move out of the house. Because one, the person who moves out is the one sinning, not the person at all. So if you're the one choosing to sleep in another room, you are breaking the rule. <laughs> okay. If you choose to sleep in another room, you are breaking the rule. If you sleep to sleep on the floor while your wife is on the bed or your your spouse is on the bed, then you're the one breaking the rule and you have this call to settle with God, not even with your spouse. So you should actually look at that. When you see it that way, that you can't leave, you can't leave. The moment you go outside the norm, of that marriage institution then you've gone outside of it and god will not take it lightly with you that's it okay thank you so much thank you for that um let's hear from the wonderful you about your own you you said you're single earlier right? okay what's your own advice to the people that say so like if i know very soon you will marry that you know no, but you're on your own point of view what's your own opinion to this what's the advice you want to pass to the audience okay well for me, what I want to advise, um, first of all, married couples, is this. I know I'm not married really, but I have seen a whole lot um, from people, even in my own family and things like that. So I would like to advise uh, married couples to um, sleep in the same room because it's very, very important that they do that. Because as parents, as couples, your children look at you, they see what you do and that tends to affect the decisions that they take later in life, even in their own marriages. So as uh, couples, as parents, make sure that you sleep in the same room uh, in order for you to foster unity and oneness even in your home. It's very, very important. And for people who are not yet married to, <laughs> at least it's an eye-opener to all of you that when you get married, Ah, you should mm -hmm. sleep in the same room with your wife, no matter the situation that comes in it. Because if both of you keep staying in the same room, at least with that, you'll be able to settle your quarrels, and you'll be able to settle the problems that uh, uh, they tend to come your way. So uh, that's my own. All right, thank you. Um, we'll have a call on the line. Let's just pick this call before we run Hello? Hello? Yeah, hello, yeah. speaker, please. Hello, what's your name or where you calling from? Oh, Mr. Tayo, are you married? I have to say no. Okay, you're not married yet. Um, but you know what we're talking about today, right? So, what's your own opinion to this? Uh, actually, I want to say Uh, Actually, you know, staying in the same room, someone else, people are married. I will say this to my wife or something. She's very different. So, to me, it's a no. I would rather prefer to stay with my wife in the same room in the same house. Okay, okay. All right, thanks so much for your contribution. All right. Uh, okay. All right, that was the tire. He says he's not married though, but he wouldn't want to do that even if he's married. Uh, he doesn't really see it as a good thing, staying in a different room with his wife. So, um, on the note of that, thanks, Mr. Tayo, for calling in. All right, Mr. Jeremiah, let's hear your quick advice before we round up the show. Well, um, my advice from those that are married and are sleeping in different rooms. They should pick one room as to sleep in and use the rest as a guest room. And um, they should just try and work that connectivity out. Like it's 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 really important and vital in a family for the, the for connection to exist. It's important in the family and for those that are not married yet, they should, they should even, if they, if they are having a thought before, they should just erase it from their mind completely because it's, it's not a good idea at all. It's not a good idea. 
Okay, thank you so much for that. Okay, in case you're just joining in, we're sorry. This is where we'll be writing up the program. And you've heard it from our mom in the building, our mom in the studio. She gave us an advice that it's actually not cool to stay in a different room because it doesn't help the mind to grow. And it doesn't even help when matters arise. It doesn't make it to be solved. Because when individuals are in a different room, they don't want to see reasons why they should actually make the quarrel or whatever they have between each other to get settled on time. And like Mr. Kerr said, it doesn't help the family like you stay in the different room it breaks homes and it's not even ideal because the Bible doesn't state it in that format you know stay off the room with your wife or with your husband and just like told you said also that it's not advisable with what she think and her own opinion and to the people out there we said and we'll see with all the things we gather here in the studio we we'll understand that it's actually not cool and nice for different couples to stay in different homes in the same house that it doesn't make their home and the marriage go because it reduces and it takes away the connection between them it doesn't make things to get solved easily when there's problem or conflict in the marriage and the home so this is what we'll be saying goodbye today and i will thank the mommy for coming in and hope we'll have you soon in the studio again we thank you we appreciate you in the building we appreciate mr carol's in the building jeremiah Thanks for being here and the wonderful you as always. Thanks to being in the studio. And this is where we'll be writing up the program Your Opinion on Radio Global. My name is Bamdi Olaiwaj and always remember in everything you do, put God first. This is where we'll be saying bye bye. Stay tuned till we come your way again next week. It's still your opinion.